Hello, this is Jonathan Gardner. Um, one more tutorial before I call it a day on tutorials today. Um, trains! Raktor asks, how do you do trains? Well, let me cover that. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to research trains. And there's several tiers of research for trains. Here comes a train that's empty. Why are you empty, sir? Anyway, um, there's several tiers of research with trains. Let me just go through the, the, the system here. I have some mods installed, so if you see some things that you aren't familiar with, then that's what it is. So the first level of research is railway. This little locomotive that does not appear in the game at all. Um, you need to get your engines researched. You also need to get Logistic 2. That's the one that gives you the red belts. Okay, so you get, local, you get railway which will give you the tracks and will give you locomotives, which are useless by themselves, really, um, unless you like to go really fast along a track, which that will get you 250 kilometers per hour, which is fun. Next is automated rail transport, which just requires railway, just red and green research. These are all red and green research. You don't need blue research to do these things. So this will give you um, a train stop and it will give you a cargo wagon, okay? So that's what it gives you. And the next it gives you is rail signals that you can research, which I have the Farall mod, so it gives you this Farall thing, but these two things are from the base mod, the rail signals and the chain signals. I recommend if you're gonna do trains to research all three of these things all at once. Um, I don't really see a point to doing anything without all three of those running. And by this point in the game, you should be researching um, red and green signs rather quickly. So, um, there you go. Okay, so how do you do trains? Well, obviously you build train tracks. Right, there's some train tracks. Let me go check out my iron while I go over there and go poke at my iron really quick. Here you can see that they are coming with no iron ore at all. Because I have screwed something important up. But um, let's go examine. So. As I'm walking along, you can kind of see the design of my train tracks. You can see that I have like power poles, I have signals. Um, signals are on one side of the track, not both sides. Uh, I had these little loop glues. I built these wide so that I can turn around without having to disrupt the design very much. Just build little loop de loos whenever you need them. You know. And I run power along them. The Farl mod is really good for building those things for you from default. Okay, so we're obviously not picking up iron ore. This guy is sitting here and he's just like doing nothing. Why are you doing nothing? Just go. Go. Okay. That gave you a quick preview of how you can tell trains to do things. You can tell them to stop, you can tell them to go. This guy, so this, this guy, um, this is really advanced, but you can program these trains to do things. You can tell them where to go and what to do, you know. And so I can tell these guys to go. Um, they're not going right now because the signals are red. And the reason why the signals are red is because there are trains that are blocking their way. And that's what the signals do is they tell which trains can go when. They're basically like stoplights at a traffic. Um, just like on your road, you know. Red means stop, green means go, that kind of thing. There's different kinds of signals. There's a chain signal. This is a chain signal. This is a uh, rail signal, just a regular rail signal. It wasn't until version 0.12 that we got chain signals. And chain signals have changed quite a bit um, of how you can build trains, what you can do with them. And so we'll be covering that too eventually. But I just kind of wanted to let you watch a little bit of how trains work. Uh, you can ride in trains. I'm not gonna get close to that train. He'll kill me if I touch it. Trains are dangerous, they will kill you. So we can just kind of go along this train, watch him as he comes down here. He's going to go down to this iron station that's down there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with him. Run, Forrest, run. Yeah, I'm going to miss him. So stations, uh, if you've played Open TDD, uh, stations are kind of built for you. Here we just have train stops. Train stops tell the train where to stop. You have to build your own, you have to design your own stations. You can see here that I have a station where there's a little bit of a waiting area where obviously there's not enough trains. You know, you can see he's pulling forward, uh, unloads the product. In this case, he's unloading, hopefully, iron ore. 
but he has nothing um, in this case. You can see I have at the station the robots are running around doing all the work of moving things around. There's a smelter set up. As you can imagine, there's red and blue chests. And the blue chests are requesting things and the red chests are providing things. And there's blue chests here requesting the, the iron plate, which is coming into here. This guy waits for 40 seconds because it takes 40 seconds to completely load the train if there were a lot of iron plate. Here we come, our first full train with ore in a long time. Watch them go mad. This is awesome. Yeah, look at that. Look at all those swarms of robots. All these factories, all the smelters just light up. And then the copper, the iron plate is flowing rapidly into this train. You can see it filling up, you know. So he's gonna take this back to my main base. You see, so you have to build your own stations. It's not like open TDD where you just you plop down a thing that's called a station and it magically collects and moves things around. No, no, this is not like that at all. Um, so you have to build your own stations. You can design stations in a thousand different ways. And I think I have like six different designs because I have six different stations here. You know, this is just one possible design. Here comes another train with more ore, hopefully. Let's see which one wins this fight. And this guy does. So he's going to come down. He's going to pull in here and unload his ore. We're going to see the, the robots swarm again. Looks like we have a ton of robots waiting to recharge. Maybe we should put more robot mobile ports down here or something. I don't know. You can see them go. Look at them go. Rapidly drains these guys. You see, he's drained, and then he should take off here in a couple seconds. Looks like we might need some more on this side. Yeah. Okay, so that's the station that I built. It's one station. You're gonna have your own design for stations. Um, when you're building trains, you're gonna run into this problem called deadlock where the trains will block each other. And it's really difficult to avoid that unless you follow some, some big design principles. Um, here's a station that I'm working on. It's, it's in progress here. Uh, this one is going to basically collect ore and unload it into a, a train that will carry it away. But this is, um, I don't see too many people. I think I'm the only person that I know of that builds this way. But as you can see, this, this train system, these train tracks are isolated from the main train system have to go along the tracks here which is dangerous the trains will kill you they will not stop if they see you coming they will go faster um, yeah so you can see it's an isolated track here but what they do is they pick something up and they go up here where it's unloaded and somebody else will pick it up so this this keeps the trains isolated from each other so they don't interfere with each other's uh, motion and I, I again I'm, I'm not really going to specifics or details here about how these things work I'm just kind of giving an overview of what trains can do um, and uh, how much fun they can be so hopefully this has been a good little intro I think next video I will go into specifics of how the trains actually work and um, we'll start with the basics about how do you lay track how do you lay trains uh, how do you set up a station how do you signal and then we'll build from there and we'll get to a broader discussion of what I'm doing in my factorials series so um, thanks for watching Trains are cool. They're so awesome. I can't get enough of trains. I think I think as you get older as a man, trains become even more interesting. Am I right, JJ? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Oh.